Well, it has certainly been a sobering day for law enforcement across the metro as we take a look at that house that was at the center of this standoff with police that lasted for more than eight hours. Authorities say the suspect was heavily armed. Now, here is what we know. Officer Randy Tyler, a seven-year veteran of the Madison Police Department, died this morning. Tyler was a retired police chief from the Richland Police Department. Now, according to the Mississippi Department of Public Safety, Tyler was fatally wounded while attempting to enter the residence where 22-year-old Gabriel Wilson was believed to be barricaded. Tyler was struck twice in the chest. It's unclear if he was wearing a bulletproof vest. Brandon Police Chief Wayne Dearman says one of the officers was one of his officers was wounded in the morning and the earlier in the morning shot in the left chest. That officer in the hospital in stable condition with his family and is expected to recover. Now, Chief Dearman says the incident began around 1.30 Thursday morning when they got a call about an armed man trying to get into a house on Terrapin Hill North where two women were inside. They stated that he had a bulletproof vest on, a handgun, and a rifle. As he entered the home, our officers arrived. One of the female um, was able to escape. Now, the SWAT team was able to make its way into the house and distract Wilson, which allowed the other woman to escape his custody. Now, those who live nearby were forced to evacuate their homes for hours. One neighbor telling us they heard as many as 150 shots fired during the course of this standoff. At one point, negotiators lost contact with Wilson. As he stopped talking, they sent a drone inside the house, which showed he was sleeping on the bed. Now, police tell us they were just preparing to end the standoff moments before Wilson fired those shots hitting Officer Tyler. Tonight, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation is leading the investigation, and we asked police about those weapons that Wilson had. We don't know whether or not they have been legally purchased. For now, we're live in Brandon Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.